so it's your girl April and you already know the drill, okay, just from the title. This is an AliExpress vendor hair video and this company I have already worked with for numerous amount of time, like numerous times. Vendor, numerous and they time. have like the most beautiful hair on AliExpress oh, is Lily Hair Beauty. And so I will post their links below and you can check them out. So this time around we went for something different. I did get some bundles and they are all color number 27. And I did get four of them. So, you know, I do four. I do four bundles. The most I've ever done was probably like four and a half. So, this is the number 27, and it's in 18 inches. And um, it does look a little dry because it was processed. It's more or less like a honey blonde. But it does look really, really pretty in person. It's probably looking really bright on camera. But once you put, like, auburn red highlights to this, it just looks amazing. Like So, this is Loose Wave. And... So the closure is 16 inches in length um, because my bundles kind of do go like in layers. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just a regular 4x4 closure. So yeah, let's get on to that video. Alright guys, so this is going to be kind of a, not really long, but a full detailed tutorial. So as you can see, I have my box of Revlon Color Silk Hair Dye. It's like $3.92 at Walmart. This color here, I think it's like the chestnut brown. I'm not really sure. I can't remember the color. But these two boxes I'm going to be using for the root color, meaning the roots of the closure and the roots of the bundles. Because I don't want it dark dark brown but I want like a reddish brown so that is going to be used for the roots these four boxes over here are going to be used for the highlights in the bundles along with the highlights in the closure so this is like a little bit lighter red and if you want this particular color just take a picture of the actual faces I think the first one is a chestnut brown now as you can see I went ahead and I took the rope or the string from the actual bundle here and I folded the bundles in half and tied them together. This makes it a lot easier so you don't have this long wefted track and it's flopping all over the place. As well as that is I took one of my old mascara wands and I cleaned it real good. And you're also going to need some T-pins just to place your closure onto a mannequin head. A rat tail comb. Um, doesn't matter which one. You see I have two different ones here, so you don't need the metal one, but you can have a plastic one. Some of these cotton coils, um, I forget the name of them because the box is turned the wrong way. But this is them right here. It comes in a long spool, and I just cut some of them. They're very helpful when dyeing hair. And also some brushes to paint the dye on with. And just some some cheap ones just like two and some empty containers there's no bleach in these containers they're just empty I just saved them to put hair dye in you know because just save 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 so I went ahead and I put a plastic bag on top of my styrofoam mannequin head because I didn't want it to have hair dye all over it and I pinned down the closure as you can see and I'm going to take this one right here like I said this is a really cheap hair dye you can buy this from just about anywhere. I wouldn't say go to like um, Walgreens or CVS because you're going to be paying more. So if you got a Walmart near you, like a, not a Walgreens, but a Walmart, then go ahead. So while we do this, we're going to watch a little bit of Netflix. And I'm going to watch one of my favorite shows right here, which is, of course, The Walking Dead. And this is season six. And this is like episode two. So we're about to watch that, or I'm about to watch that as I do this, because this is going to be some work, okay? I'm going to be putting in some work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix this dye together. This is the um, contents that come in the package right here. I'm just going to shake it up real well. And I'm just going to pour it into one of my plastic bowls. I prefer to put it in a plastic bowl because it's just a lot easier. I'm just going to stir it around a little bit, make sure that it's all mixed together. The first thing we want to do is the closure because I just like to get that out of the way. It's a little bit more time consuming because you don't want to get any of that dye on the lace. So the first things first, you want to go ahead and part yourself a little bit. Don't part, don't make the parts too big because you want to make sure that the hair dye saturates through. So you want to go ahead and take your mascara wand, make sure that it's clean, there's no mascara on it, and you want to dip it in the hair dye and you want to go ahead and brush that onto the closure. You want to get as close as possible to the lace. You don't want to get onto the lace. That's why I said as close as possible. Um, and you just want to take your time and do small strokes. That's why I said part yourself small sections so that way the hair dye can saturate through. And then you see I did put the cotton down. 
because that will help the next um, batch of hair, as you see right here. Once I'm done with one particular side, I'll go ahead and I'll flip it over and I'll do that side. The cotton helps it from laying on top of the hair on the bottom and also helps the dye not get onto the newly fresh hair. So yes, small sections, you're gonna continue to do that throughout the closure and just use a mascara wand. If you have a small, small brush, you can use that too, but I just think the mascara wand is better because it gets precise. It doesn't allow it to get onto the closure and it also just gets right onto the hair, which is super duper easy. And I never get any dye onto the lace closure. And as you can see, the hair is processing right now. It's turning like that reddish brown. And of course, it's not gonna be that dark. Um, that's just the hair job. So I'm gonna let that sit on the closure for like 25, like more or less 45, 50 minutes. Now onto the bundles. I'm taking that same hair dye and I'm just going ahead and brushing it right onto the bundles of hair because I want it to look like my roots are dark. You can't have no dark root closure and not bundles to match. So I'm just putting a little bit. It does not have to be perfect because these are just the roots and it's not going to be really visible like that, but you know, it is going to be visible, but not visible like that. So where it's got to be a perfect line. You know what I mean? And just take your time. Once you're done with one side, flip it over and just continue on the other side. Now see, that is the reason why I tied it together because the wefts are long. And first of all, you need to make sure that your surface is protected. So I do have a plastic bag protecting my counter space, so keep that in mind. But if you fold the bundles, it makes it a lot easier. And of course you may have some of the bundle tracks that are not fully covered. So you just go back over it in a little bit and just go ahead and dye it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again with the next bundle until I'm done with all of my bundles. Now this is the next day after I have went ahead and washed and rinsed the closure and the bundle out. I'm now taking the next color and I'm going to go ahead and mix that same process, pouring that into the bowl once again. And this is for the highlights. We've already went ahead and dyed the roots of the closure. We've already went ahead and dyed the roots of the bundles. So like I said, this is the next day y'all and we are using more or less the reddish brown. So I got me some clips right here and I got that plastic bag back down. So I take and I make sure the plastic bag is secure by taping it to the surface. And I just took some of those hair clips and I kind of like clipped them onto the bag and the bundles so that the bundle can stay still. And I just section the hair off. Every other piece of hair I will, you know, color as you can see right here. And I put enough hair dye onto it to where I don't need to flip it over. It'll saturate right through. And it saturates right through a lot easier than it would do the top because the top is tracks and it's sewn, it's a lot thicker. But on the actual hair, it saturates right through and I always make sure to put enough. So as you can see right here, I'm just going back and forth with every other hair and I'm just painting that hair dot on. And what I'll do is I also will put this in my tub and go on to the next hair bundle. And in my tub, I do have a plastic bag on the tub as well inside the tub so that way I could just put the hair in there and allow it to saturate and penetrate into the hair. Super easy. Just make sure you protect your surfaces. It does come off with bleach, spray bleach, spray bleach cleaner um, for any surface of, in case you're worried about it. But yeah, so back and forth and I allowed it to sit on the hair for like, I think it was like 45 minutes to an hour. It's not going to hurt. All right, you guys, so I am so excited and so happy that I'm finally done with this unit. But look at it. It is like, oh, I'm loving it. Now, of course, the hair box dye did dull down a little bit. It was a little bit more redder than this, but that is okay because I still love the color of it. It's got its... um highlights and just streaks in it and i love it like it's absolutely beautiful it came out so pretty i wanted more waves it wasn't a lot after all the washing and all of the dyeing and things that i did to it it held up which was amazing um lily hair beauty always has some good hair but i did use my wand curl for this unit and i just kept the ends straight so that way they're not really too curled too curled but yes it came out like so pretty so yeah um 
the next time around I'm gonna do this I'll probably use like a different color I think I'm gonna kind of like do it reverse meaning do it on dark color hair and use blonde like a blonde 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 box dye so that way it could give it like browner tones um, I did darken the roots there is a tiny little bit of blonde I didn't want to get too close to the lace and then I have dark lace so it looks kind of like the knots were bleached you know what I'm saying but they really weren't because that's the natural color of the hair but it came out so gorgeous and I'm so excited I can not wait to put this on i have not tried it on yet i am so ready ready to go ready to go so let's do this yeah, yeah. 2015 uh, yeah man don't touch it uh uh i see I sing, oh, sing. Make you watch how I rise, oh, yeah. To the top, I will rise, oh, oh, yeah. What a hater, what a hater. Don't worry me, no streets, what a hater. Don't worry me, no bands, what a hater. What a hater, what a hater. Make you watch how I rise, oh, yeah. To the top, I will rise, oh, oh, yeah What a hater, what a hater Don't bury me in the streets, what a hater Don't bury me in the bands, what a hater What a hater, what a hater, oh Make you watch how I rise, oh, 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 yeah To the top, I will rise, oh, 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 yeah What a hater, what a hater Stop buying me in the streets, what they hate it. Stop buying me in the bands, what they hate it. What they hate it. What they hate it. Vickers, what up? Bad man, I see you. I don't wear blonde that often and when I do want to wear blonde it has to have like brown streaks in it brown highlights whatever it just cannot be one flat color the color 27 was the perfect hair color for like highlights and just the perfect blonde for me I don't like it too blonde like a 613 that's a little bit too much but this blonde came out like perfect I didn't even tweeze the part because it already looked like it was scalpage right there because the roots of the actual closure were already blonde like you know they were the color 27 so I just left them as it is and put a little concealer yeah that's just basically all I did to this and wand curled it took me like 35 minutes I didn't do it any particular way like meaning I didn't do it neatly I didn't section off I just grabbed little pieces of hair and just twirled one way twirled the opposite way this so is going to be one of my favorite units it is time consuming keep that in mind but if you really really want something that's perfect for yourself then by all means go for it now as for Lily hair beauty they have like the bombest hair ever I told you guys they are my number one vendor when it comes to Aliexpress their sister store which is I am my hair same thing really great quality hair this hair did not give me no issues did not shed at all okay and i just really really am fond of it i was so happy uh, when i was finally done making it um i just was like lily look i sent the picture and i was like i love it is it beautiful i will post all of their information for you guys below four full bundles all of it in my hair yes for the most part it was a great experience i'm so happy that i was able to show this to you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video i do apologize if it was a little bit longer than normal but you know what i wanted to show you step by step so on that note let me know what you think make sure you rate comment subscribe sum this video up check out lily hair beauty down below and i love you guys and i'll see you in a soon to come video